Good morning, y'all. It is six, like six fifteen in the morning. I am getting ready to go to the airport for my first real solo trip. <laughs> I say this is like my first real solo trip because, like, I've tried to go solo before, like a few birthdays ago. One of my friends like just kind of joined in with me, so it wasn't really a solo trip. Another time back in like twenty thirteen, I had to go somewhere for work, so I did like fly by myself. But it was like all the accommodations were like paid and stuff. So I was like technically meeting like my work people there. So everything was already laid out for me. I didn't have like a lot of time for like to, to really explore. So this is my first real solo trip because this is like what I planned for myself. I'm going to this women's conference and I also gave myself time to explore where I'll be in Tampa, Florida. I'm going to be in a neighborhood called Ybor City, which is like a historical neighborhood. It's actually where a lot of the first Cubans went to in Florida back in the day. So I'm excited because I've been to Cuba before, Cuba rather, and I love my time in Cuba. So I cannot wait to have some good Cuban food. But yeah, in the interim, I'm here. C is over there. It's dark in here and the sun is not even out. This is like, this is a lot. Oh, the driver's calling. You gotta go, mate. Let's go. You ready to go? Yeah. <laughs> See you later. Oh, it's the landscape. So we're here and this line is long as fuck. But you know what? The email did say that it was gonna be long. I ain't never been in a line this long. Neither have I. <laughs> never in life. And then the pre-check line is like half the size. But it's still long. That's still long for pre-check. And then look at clear. They take it too long on the clear line. <laughs> this is the clear line over here. C been telling me just get on pre-check, but normally like if I fly with C. The pre-check will apply to mine too, yeah. mm -hmm. especially with American. Like yeah, they do that. always. It always transfers over. Oh, do you like our shirts? E. And this shirt, I linked it. I'll link it in the description box. I know y'all saw see wear this shirt like the other day. <laughs> and now it's mine. No, it's not. <laughs> I got a bunch of them shirts though. All right, Boo Blue. Mwah. I love you. I love you. Love you more. My glasses. Hold on. What? Take this off. Mm-hmm. Love you. Love you. See you later. See you later. Get Good. home safe. Be Good. I will. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Uh, we'll do everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So I'm at the gate now. Gate 45. However, I wanted to speak with them about possibly changing my seat, moving me forward, we'll see. But I'm hungry, so let's go get some food. So I was in row 18 and they changed me to row eight. More of the story, closed mouths don't get fed. Hey y'all, I wanna introduce you to Mama Play. Hi everyone, she's been my play mom and she's made this ride so much fun. Oh my God, it's like the best play for us. <laughs> So we are we just landed in Tampa. I'm so excited because it's my first time here and what are you about to do? I'm about to go see my daughters here. Yay! I'm so excited. So I'm gonna check in with you guys later. Bye! Alright y'all, so I just landed in Tampa. I swear I just had the best flight talking with my plane mom, Miss Michelle, Mama Place, as a lot of people like to call her. What's crazy is that she is literally the same age as my mom like i swear god works in very mysterious ways but i'll tell you about it later either way this is the airport in tampa and unfortunately i had to check a bag so now i'm about to go find baggage claim so yeah i'll check in in a second she was a young girl, she was a young girl. Her side on
this mask like is not fitting my ear properly i don't know if my ear is too small but anywho okay so i'm in tampa and this is the airbnb right over here the way it's set up is there's someone who lives here but i have the second floor to myself so we're gonna go through this part together you know i think it's gonna be a cute little arrangement so let's take my little baby up these steps all right let's enter the code okay we are here Ooh, this looks really cute y'all this is cute okay y'all let's get a quick look of my airbnb host's home from what i can tell i'm liking what i see so far i love places with an open concept and that's one reason why i booked this place because i just loved the interior here like this is so look at this marble this is so nice Okay, I don't have this whole space to myself. The space I have to myself is upstairs. Like I have the second floor. So this part right here, I can come here and use the kitchen. The living room part is, the living room part over here is off limits, but let's go upstairs and see where I'm actually staying. Okay. All right, there's a hallway over here. Hold on, let me turn on the light. What's over here? Okay, it looks like this is like this little back catacomb area. Uh, this stairwell leads to where I'm staying. Let's see, we're doing this together. Oh, <laughs> welcome GW. <laughs> That's my nickname, y'all, on Airbnb. Oh okay so this floor i have to myself this is the bathroom all right nice marble countertop everything is looking clean i love huge mirrors because when i'm getting ready to do my thing honey i need to see myself now this is actually just like a little mini living room rest area office space and that was, it looks as advertised on the Airbnb. Oh, look. This is a, looks like a notebook. Is this for me to write in? I have to ask her if I have to like write a note to her. Okay, the Airbnb, this, this um, office has like some nice closet space here. The couch. And then let's look at the bedroom. And this is the bedroom, king size bed. You got the TV, Wi-Fi is right there. Okay, I'm with it. And I'm gonna show you all some pictures just so you can get like an accurate look at how the upstairs looks in case you guys wanna come to Tampa and stay here. I feel like even though this is this apartment isn't like entirely to myself. This is pretty private because look, there's a whole stairs you have to go down before you come up here. I like this. All right, y'all. So from what I could tell, I definitely like what I see. This side's looking really cute, very clean, which is most important to me. There's nothing worse than arriving at an Airbnb and it's dirty. I've experienced that and I got my money back. <laughs> but this is looking really nice. Like. I actually feel like it looks even cuter in person. So yeah, this apartment's super cute. Oh my gosh, they're probably making such good money running this space out. Also, I chose this place because it's near Ybor City, which is a historical area in the Tampa area. I'll tell you more about that later. But yeah, I'm right now I'm just gonna bring my suitcase up and I gotta talk to y'all about this plane ride and how I basically met my plane mom on the plane. I'm here at my Airbnb. I really like this place. I um, actually ended up having the entire house to myself because my host is out of town. This is like a four bedroom house. 
I'm super excited to be here for this conference for Innovative Income Summit. I think it's going to be pretty life-changing. I don't know how and what way yet, but I, I just have that feeling. It's going to be good. I had a lot of nerves coming here because when I fly by myself, I get anxiety. So I was so nervous about that. But look how the Lord works. First of all, I had seat 19A and I was like, no, I need to move up closer. I went to the um, person at the gate and asked if she could move me up. And she was like, yeah, I have an aisle seat available, but it's like, it costs money. It costs $34. And I looked at her and I was just like, yeah, let me just do it. Cause I just get so nervous. I really, I really need to feel secure. And then she did like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and then she was like, here, go ahead. And she just gave me the ticket and didn't make me pay for it. So that was the first sign of God working for me. I was like, you know what? I hear you. Then I get on the plane. I'm now in seat. 8a something like that no i'm in 8e and i literally am like right behind first class so first class had like four rows and then there was my seat and the lady next to me she ended up being the most like such a beautiful soul comical lady and she is the same age as my mom my mom is 54 so is she and she ended up being my plane mom we talked the entire time i have never been on a plane where i talked to someone the entire time like never and we were talking about everything like it got super deep it turns out she was actually did a last minute flight like she booked her flight last night to come to tampa because basically it's kind of been an emergency situation with her daughter who's kind of dealing with a mental illness and it's getting to the point where she doesn't want something to happen to her new grandson the daughter's son so I just feel like we were really meant to be, we were able to, we were really meant to connect. We definitely talked about mental illness in general because I'm very familiar with what that looks like due to like people in my family who had to deal with it and thus I experienced it through them essentially. She was just speaking things to me where I was like, wow, like you're talking to me. Like she was talking about like being yourself and like knowing your worth and all these things like speaking affirmations onto me i'm just like what is happening here like i literally switched my seat and i ended up next to next to this woman who is totally like making my day right now what did i do to deserve this <laughs> so literally the plane ride flew by like what a two-hour ride felt like 20 minutes because we were just talking so much and I'm just so thankful to her. All right, y'all. I'm getting ready to go out to this happy hour. I need some food. I have not eaten, like, since 9 a.m. My period is freaking blowing me right now. And honestly, I don't feel too great on the inside. But I'm trying to at least look cute on the outside and hopefully get my stuff together. So, yeah. I love my heel. I got my favorite heels on. These heels are from Shein, and they are just so easy. Very easy, low heel. Look at that heel. It's so cute. I've been wearing these everywhere. So, hopefully this food is as good as all the reviews say. Yeah, look at me. I don't even feel like putting on lashes. Like, that's how ugh, I feel right now. But I think I'll feel better once I eat. So, I hope I have a good time. First night in Tampa. Let's do it. <laughs> So I just left 
um, green lemon and it was very interesting to say the least. Hold on a second. What the hell? Do y'all see this puddle? This is wild. Anyway, so I met two girls there at first and they were really cool. Well, one girl I definitely vibed with more than the other. The other girl I felt like she was fine, but she was a little too drunk for my taste. Like, for me to not know her. Anywho, so I was chit chatting with them for a minute, and eventually two other, two other girls came through, and I was talking to them because, you know, we as kinfolk. <laughs> and I was like, so what else do y'all do around here? And they suggested this place called Seventh and Grove, which I wanted to check out tonight anyway. Um, but I'm glad I talked to them just to get their experience with it. They're both from Tampa. There was one more place I wanted to check out before I hop over to 10th to 7th and Grove because that's in a different neighborhood. Right now, we are in Soho, okay? But 7th and Grove is over in Ybor, hey, Ybor City. And yeah, so far so good. Night number one. I don't know, it's different. It's a little different around here. That little friend behind me. Okay, sir. Back up. <laughs> yeah, I'm staying in Ybor City. Okay. By the way, I'm vlogging for my YouTube channel, so I'm filming. You have a YouTube channel? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'd I like to know what that is. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll tell you. It's called Is That Your Hair? With three R's at the end. Is that your hair? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll have to, um, I'll have to get that. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jerry. Oh, <laughs> hey y'all, so this is Jerry. How y'all doing? We just met via Lyft and he is taking me to the next spot. Okay. Yes, safe and sound. Yes, I appreciate that mm -hmm. because you know your girl is traveling solo this time. So Alrighty. I'm so, trying to stay safe. Is, is it, can you talk or, or, or? Oh yeah. Okay, all right, great. So I have a couple questions for you. Yeah, go ahead. Um, your channel is dedicated to doing hair? For the past two years or so, it's been dedicated towards wigs primarily and showing people how to take care of the wigs mm -hmm. make them look natural and so forth mm -hmm. recently i've been doing more like try on hauls and i've also i'm also introducing vlogs to my channel hence why i'm filming right now okay. <laughs> because right. i'm vlogging my time in tampa it's my All first right. time here so yeah that's what i do and it's my baby how my cool God. is that yeah it's, it's a lot of fun a lot of work too <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. oh gosh but i love it i really do for two and a half years now. Oh, awesome. And we are on the road to 30,000 subscribers. So feel free to join the family. I certainly will. Thank you. Are you from here? No, I'm actually from Detroit. Are you from the D? Yes, ma'am. What? Yes, ma I've been to Detroit only one time back in 2009. Okay. And I actually went, I went to Howard University, right? Okay. And so they did something called Turn of Spring Break. And I went there because they wanted us to like, go within the community and like help the community so they're they're doing a lot of things with downtown nice. to get it back, you know back to where it used to be culturally i'd love to hear that because i heard it used to be popping like in regards to the culture Absolutely. then like the whole thing with chrysler and all this right. other stuff happened and exactly. it took a ways but that's good to hear that it's back mm -hmm. in a big way in a big way when's the last time you've been home oh uh, when the red wings won the championship oh when was that it's, it's, I don't know. So we're just passing um, um, on the stadium. Where the, the boats just won the championship. Oh, snap. So tell me about your channel. Yeah, so at this point, I've had it for two and a half years. I have 26,000 subscribers. Mm -hmm. um, plus, I, one. plus one. Right, plus one. <laughs> Thank you. I love it. It's my baby. Um, I'm a teacher full time, right? Okay. But I've been doing that for eight years. Okay. Um, but I definitely plan on going full time with my content creation. Okay. And I realized that last year during COVID, when I was able to like make more money and like match my salary a few times, and I was like, you know what? This is what I want to do. I want to create content. Um, and work with brands full time and stuff like that. So that's the goal. I'm gonna give teaching another year. Okay. And then we'll see how it goes. But in the meanwhile, I'm just I just need to keep working my ass off. Nothing wrong with that, especially if you're doing something as, as far as um, having the commerce or um, what they call a worldwide web content. Because mm -hmm. you can boost your channel. You can become um, 
quite famous and quite the entrepreneur and quite the influencer. Yes, that's actually another reason why I'm here because I'm here for a women's conference mm -hmm. and it's all about, you know, if you have a bit in business, if you're starting one, if you need some clarity in your business, if you need to like shift your mindset as far as knowing your worth, all that stuff. Awesome. And it's a two-day conference. It's a women's conference too. Okay. Okay. So I'm just trying to meet some like-minded women who are like either in the same boat or doing better than I am so we okay. can network and all that okay. good stuff. So that's why I'm here. All right. But I want to come early just to explore a little bit. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Right. And it has you all running to me. I know. So that's good. Straight too. up. What's your name? My name's Jerry. Jerry. Yes. Like Tom and Jerry. Like Tom and Jerry. <laughs> yes, indeed. But nobody's afraid of this little mouse. <laughs> Oh, Lord. It's a good thing, though. It's a good thing. Are you married, Jerry? I am married, yes. Nice. I have three kids and three grandkids. You don't have no grandkids. I have grandkids. Stop it. I am 87 years old. You definitely not 87. I know, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. Here's for the channel. Okay, for the channel. Having grandkids is far better than having kids. <laughs> I wish God could make it so that you could have grandkids first and then have and kids. And then have kids? Yeah. How twisted is that? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. And how old are you? Uh, I'm uh, 47. Really? Yeah, I'm 47. Wow. Yeah, I, I know it, right? And still living. Yeah, that's a that's blessing. 47 is a new 27. It sure is. Not, uh, not really when your bones get to acting up. Oh, <laughs> no. You know, I had a backache for the first time last year. I said, uh-uh. This ain't it. This ain't uh, the life I'm supposed to live. That's crazy. Take care of yourself while you're young. Yeah, you're right. I will tell you that. You're definitely right. So, my name on YouTube is Is That Your Hair? With three R's at the end. And I'm going to play that as soon as you get out the car. Okay. I'm going to see what the content is. <laughs> ah, yes. The whole world lives on YouTube content. No, for real. You know, I got to upgrade this year. I got a new camera, a new lens. Awesome. I, I feel awesome. like I'm doing my thing right now. Awesome. Thank you, you so good tonight. meeting you. Have a great time. I will. Alrighty. Thank you. Thank you. Aw, my Lyft driver was so kind. But anyway, so now we are in Ybor City. This is the main strip, 7th Avenue. It seems really tame right now. And you just kind of go in random bars, I guess. I don't know, I hear singing across the street. Maybe we should check it out, let's see. It's over there. Ybor City is a historic neighborhood northeast of downtown Tampa. It was originally founded in the 1880s by Vincent Martinez Ybor. Soon enough, thousands of immigrants came through from Cuba, Spain, Italy, and the cigar factories are super popular, and that's what employed many of the immigrants in Ybor. I am ready to go get some lunch. It is now Friday. Tomorrow is the conference that I'm going to, Innovative Income Summit. Super excited, but yeah, you're going to need to eat. This is the outfit that I'm wearing. This is from Amazon. This is like my fave summer dress. Definitely very cut out. We got a little bit of party in the back, yes. <laughs> I love this. I have this joint in three colors and I definitely want it in white too, but I don't know if I'm actually gonna get it. It's just like, ah, oh, I just kind of want it. Ideally, I wish I had like black shoes, but it's okay. Oh, and the sunglasses are from Amazon as well. Oh, this mirror is dusty. Hold on, let me back up. <laughs> We're gonna go, I think I'm gonna check out La Segunda Cafe or bakery, something like that, and we'll see what's popping. So right now we're gonna head over inward into Ybor City, which is the historical district. We're gonna go to La Segunda Cafe. Last night was kind of a lot. Honestly, I woke up a little bit hungover, but I'm finally good to go now, so let go. Getting used to vlogging certain moments is still kind of difficult for me. Like, people who vlog regularly, I don't know, how y'all do it? Because it feels hard like I, I just feel a pull between like wanting to just be in the moment versus not but I guess 
to alleviate that maybe it'll just be kind of planning out certain moments like okay this is when i know i'm gonna vlog like during this time and then you know things might randomly pop up but i'm, I'm trying to get used to it i know y'all like gladys whenever y'all do finally see this <laughs> y'all gonna be like y'all it took forever to do these damn vlogs i did okay like it's the perfectionism it really gets the best of me sometimes to the point where i won't produce because it i, I feel like it's not coming out the way i want it or i don't know if i can make it come out the way i want it you know what i mean yeah, man, it's a lot. But one thing I realized, my host, she's out of town. So literally, I have this whole house to myself. So no one else is here in this house. And this is a four bedroom house. No one else is here, hello. Everyone's gone. I love this, this decor and just the setup and the open layout. Oh my God, it's so pretty. But yeah, it's just me all alone in this big ass house. <laughs> all right, I'm ready to eat. Hold on, I don't even know where I'm going for real. Ooh. Yes, sunlight. Hold on, did I put on lotion? I feel like, chill. That's how you lock the door. All right, let's go. Let's head out. The bakery that we are going to, La Segunda, it's like a well-known spot here in Tampa. If you like Cuban sandwiches, that's where you can get them. And that's also the thing with Tampa. A lot of Cubans came to Tampa first before Miami. So there's definitely a lot of history here that I really need to learn more about. There is a museum in Ybor that kind of runs it all down for you, but Honestly, I don't know if I'm going to make time to do that. Oh, someone's playing Tevin. Okay. I hear y'all. I got to block that out. Crab bite, what's that? Devil crab, meat, onion, bell peppers. Empanada, which ones do you have? We have chicken and we have beef and cheese. Okay. Do you have smoothies here or is that? Soup? Smoothies. No, man. No. They are playing the jams. never get tired of SWV, man. Not ever. So La Segunda Bakery is like a grab and go type of spot. I literally <laughs> only walked like a few blocks. So I'm gonna walk my tail back to the crib and eat this food. Hopefully it's good. And it's definitely what my tummy needs, especially after this little hangover. And then I'm gonna figure out where I'm gonna go after that. But yeah, it's not really much. This is definitely a very residential neighborhood. Honey, I'm home. Here, we got the Segunda Seal. It's official. And let's see what this avocado toast is looking like. Okay, so it's like the sun-dried spread and the avocado and then the empanada and this is the empanada i definitely need a lot of bread right now <laughs> hmm. now see i'm actually not an avocado person but i keep trying to make myself like avocados i like them in small doses so like with avocado toast 
sometimes I like it. Sometimes it's too much avocado for me. It just depends. I'll never forget when C and I went to Colombia for my birthday um, two years ago. I had the best avocado toast I ever had at the hotel that we stayed at. One of the hotels. So good. Okay. This is the chicken. Let's taste it. Oh, wow. This is hearty. I'm here for the chicken empanada. I'm sure the beef one's good as well, but I don't normally eat beef or pork. Okay, so going down. Now nah, I just need y'all to get some smoothies. <laughs> All right, y'all. So it's Friday. I'm back in Ybor City. I'm hungry. I literally took like a five-hour nap today. So I don't really do much today, but there's a lot going on here. Yeah, so some people are so stupid. <laughs> Like, do not fucking talk to me. I don't know you. I am about to see what is good with some food because the place I was going to, they're finishing up some private event. So there's like this crazy ass long line. I don't know where these people are going. That's pretty wild. And everyone's dressed in black. I don't know what that's about. Let's see what's going on this way. Oh, I'm so hungry, y'all. What am I gonna eat? I didn't make a plan B. <sighs> what place is this? I really would like like a margarita or something. So I ended up at a place called Daddy's Patio. Uh, the drink was just okay. The food was pretty decent though. And I met a girl there that was really nice and she was telling me more about Tampa. After that though, I definitely want to check out 7th and Grove, which is a black owned establishment. I didn't get to try their food, but their nightlife is supposed to be really good. It has really great music. So you'll see that I end up there and I was all by myself, but I had a great time. Do y'all like to go out by yourselves? Let me know. One thing I noticed is that a lot of people were not wearing masks inside and outside too, but at the end of the day, you can only control yourself, so that meant for me keeping my mask on as much as possible. All right, y'all, I finally got the night outfit together because that other <laughs> that wasn't working. So this top is from Shein. The belt is from Amazon. Jeans are Fashion Nova, size 15. This top is a size medium. Shoes are size 9 from Shein. And yeah, I feel really cute in this. And I'm about to go to a cocktail bar. I really want like a well-crafted cocktail, so... Uh, you meet people from all around the world. You know, you have 
Cuban, we have Puerto Rican, we have Latin America, we have people from up north, we have people from the west. Um, I mean, it's a good mixture of uh, everything. I think you can find a little bit of everyone here. And I'm realizing that. Honestly, I didn't know how vibrant Tampa was. Okay. I didn't know anything about it until a few minutes ago. Like, as far as what happens here, I, I researched before. Definitely. And I'm like, okay. You definitely missed um, the uh, the parade, the Stanley Cup parade. I don't know if you saw, we would say champions. No! National champions. World champions. Wait, really? The yeah. Stanley Cup? Yeah. It's Tampa Lightning, baby. <laughs> And then, and then you add the Bucks to the whole mix. We have Tom Brady now. Season tickets are sold out. Yeah, you know, that's not fair. Better, you know? Well, thank you for sharing that. Definitely. I'm about to eat my mac and cheese, and I'll check in with y'all in a little bit. Okay, 11 drop? 11 So, oh wait, I need to wipe at? this. Oh no. Okay, let's try this again. All okay. Right. Are we recording? Are we good? Are we we're live? good. All right. We're All right. Good. So right now I have a day trader. I'm speaking it. You're already a day trader. Good. Awesome. Thank oh. you for the intro. <laughs> <laughs> so we all want to go ahead and invest, right? We yes. all want to go ahead and find that next best thing. Well, the next best thing is right under our noses because it is. I'll tell you what the future is. Okay. All these companies that are coming out, Tesla, Fisker, Neo, all these companies that basically want to take the EV to the next level, EV meaning electric vehicles, right? So in order for them to be successful, in order for them to produce what they need, mm -hmm. the product that they're going to uh, offer, yeah, is they're going to need a lot of commodities. Okay. Okay. So again, it's about supply and demand. So we all want to invest in Tesla, but Tesla, I feel like a little bit overpriced 400 know? like a share oh yeah no it's 600 600 it goes on friday but 600 Jesus. so <laughs> the next best thing tesla is going to need a shitload of lithium and what's mm. lithium lithium charges batteries charges batteries right yeah lithium is a good conductor of electricity right but not only that watch out there's a pump Boop. not only that but they're going to need a shit ton of it and right now they're building a tesla gigafactory right outside berlin in germany they can either source their lithium from china okay go to australia south america or north america now what does that mean that means that these people are going to have to figure out their logistics mm -hmm. they're going to have to pay for transportation they're going to have to pay for import taxes they're basically going to be having a lot of overhead right okay Europe has never had its own mining uh, industry, specifically for lithium, for cobalt, for magnesium, for copper. They don't and have gold. none of the good shit. They don't. Up until recently, there was a company that struck a deal with the Czech Republic. Okay. They have exclusive ownership rights. Right now, that stock is trading at a dollar and 23 cents. Their stock went from $3 and some change to, to $60. Ah! So let's just say you owned a couple thousand shares. Yo, like- That's what the pandemic taught us is that you have to be self-reliant. You can't depend on other countries because at a moment's time, if there's any kind of tension, if there's any kind of war, your supply is cut. You're done. Look at what happened with the US. The US depended so much on pharmaceutical companies that were based out of China right. because it just makes financial sense to produce their product there. But what happens when there is tensions between governments? They start blocking each other. It ain't nothing so, so so we have to be more self-reliant and that's what this company is. Uh, oh, look at the garage. Wow, what the fuck? Look at that garage. Get the hell out of here. Yeah. Three card, is that a and see, this is these are the conversations that I'm starting to have within the last two years. Okay. Right? Affirmations are everything. Keep doing them Keep because going they on. work. They work. This is the airstrip. What you I, call it? Airstrip. The airstrip. Yeah, it's not even an airport because it's not that big. Mm -hmm. It's an airstrip. And then this is where people park their yachts and their catamarans. Mm, and okay. Basically, the, the, the yacht club. 
got you. Yeah. You know, I was in Fort... My mom and I did, like, a mother-daughter trip. Yeah. I was in Fort Lauderdale with her, and nice. we went on, like, a party boat. So fun. But they wow. also... They were like, yeah, Fort Lauderdale is, like, the yachting capital of the world or something. Oh, wow. And so we were looking at all the million-dollar homes, million not like, $32 million yachts. So I was yeah. like, God damn. Wow. See, that's, that's where I'm trying to be. Yeah, man. So... Oh, so get this. The doctor <laughs> was telling me... Yeah. He's like... He's like, yeah, you know, I'm in the market to buy a jet plane. Uh huh. Yeah. And I was like, he's like, yeah, I'm thinking about buying news because brand new is like 50, 60 million. And if I'm in the market for a used one, they, they're on the market for like 10, 15 million. Because I asked him, I was like, are they any cheaper or more expensive because of the pandemic? And they're like, they're actually more expensive. Mm. Here's why. Rich people don't want to deal with um, travel the way it is now. Mm -hmm. And um, with the security and with the mask, people don't want to deal with that. It's not really <laughs> right? showing anything. I can't see shit. Like, literally. literally like, yeah, like, do. Uh -huh. Oh. See the lighthouse. The lighthouse. The lighthouse. Shout out to Roger for showing me around Tampa. He's cool as hell, y'all. And Roger is single. So if you want to shoot your shot, do it in the comments. <laughs> All right, y'all. So this is the outfit I'm going out in tonight. Top from Shein. I think it's a size medium or large. These shorts are from Boohoo. Size 12. They fit great. These are like my favorite summer shorts. I love the distressing. And then these heels. Amazon! They are so freaking cute. It'll be my first time wearing them out. So yeah, y'all, this is the entire fit. I really like trying on clothes for y'all. This is interesting. Oh yeah, and here by Altre, Altre Nakaya. So when all else fails and restaurants are closed, I mean pizza. <laughs> This is CW Gin Joint, a very modern, sleek, and comfortable lounge in the Tampa area. Perfect for a date night. I cannot wait to bring C back here. And what's special about this lounge is that they specialize in gin. So if you like gin, gin cocktails, this place is definitely for you. But even if you don't like gin, they still have other cocktails available, as well as really good food. So right now we are on our way to a place called St. Petersburg, which is in Florida. It's like over the bridge, like a 30 minute drive from where I am near Igor City. And there's like, it's like a nice pier over there. The beach is over there. Um, I didn't really like plan to go to the beach, like in the water. I don't have my swimsuit on or anything. I kind of just wanted to chill out. I'll probably walk on the beach though. But yeah, I'm excited to see what the pier is like. I'm excited to eat some good food. Yeah. This is my last full day here, unfortunately. I wish I had more time because honestly, y'all, Tampa is a very vibrant city. And if you have not been here, I think you should put it on your list of US cities to go to. Like, I've been asleep, but I just, I woke the fuck up this weekend, okay? It's a little bit of rain, but yeah. it's okay. It's gonna stop, right? Yeah, all that area. Rain no here. Because I'm driving everywhere, I know, St. Pete, Clearwater. A little bit coming for temple. Oh, oh there. Uh, temple, little bit. Where temple terrace? Uh, where I uh, Muscadi, you know Muscadi. Oh, okay. Oh, over there, temple terrace. Little bit rain and stop. And other area where uh, Lakeland, where uh, around the side over there, over there more. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Where, I see? Yeah. where are you from? I, Turkish, Turkish. Oh, you're Turkish. I want to go to Turkey. I want to go to Cappadocia. Oh, you going before? No, oh. but I want to. Oh, you're not. Okay. One day. I I born in there. Oh, you're born in there? there? No, no. I born in there. Turn right or the east other east country. Oh, which Turn country? Uzbekistan. Oh, Uzbekistan. Yeah. I've heard of it. When did you yes, come? Uh, uh, Asia, Middle Asia. Middle of Asia. Asia. Kazakhstan. Kyrgyzia, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenia, Turkmenistan. Oh, cotton plant, a lot of cotton, all 70, cotton. 80%, 70%, 80%. Wow, 80 percent. that's a lot. That's a big business. I have a friend from Kazakhstan, yeah. and she's there now, actually. She's visiting oh. family. 
Yeah, yeah. You, you, that's a, a little bit. It's almost same like Turkish language, but a lot of Turkish words. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. How do I say hello in your language? Nasılsın? How are you? Nasılsın? Nasılsın? Yes. Like that? Nasılsın? Now we need going this way. Going this way? Okay. How do I say like my name is? Because it's too hot in Turkey. No, yeah, some on fire. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Some on fire. Yeah. That's not good. Wind. A lot of wind. Wind and hot. Wind making more go fast, fast, fast. Right. Fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like Florida. Or like Florida. Uh, uh, Mediterranean Sea. Oh, the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea. sea. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Little bit mountain area here, or that. How many hotels fire? Oh, all fire. People say farmers, animals. Eh. Everything on fire. How far is long? Like this, yeah? So it is long, long. uh-huh. Go on fire for a long time, long way. Really? No, no like this. Yeah, no little bit area. Long. 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 Florida. Oh. Like Turkey long, this way going. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, no good. This That's no good. not good. Yeah, yeah, it's a small fire. Same time, 11 city and, uh, no, 11 uh, area uh -huh. and how many city, I don't know, together. Same time. Same time. Same time, same time. What? Same time. 11 area. 11? Oh, how about Turkey alone? Yeah. This way, this way. So yes. fire, fire, uh -huh. fire, fire. Too much fire. Yeah, yeah. Fire going like this. I did not Police know. Police see couple people how a fire, how a do it. Uh -huh. so that, yeah, I think. Same time, same time. Zachary, what's good? You know, another day at Ceviche in the beautiful St. Petersburg area. I'm new to St. Petersburg. Like, what should my audience know about this place? What I personally love about St. Pete is just the extensive diversity and how willing everyone is to accept each other. There's also a lot of cool spots, very dope central breweries around, you know, cool places to try beer and cocktails and whatnot. Beach Drive, of course, is beautiful, but I like Central Avenue quite a bit. Central, got it. Okay, I need to check that out. I'm like so, everything's so overwhelming, but this drink is popping. This is the drink, y'all. This food looks awesome, and Zachary is a delight. So thank you. Thank you. So the spot that I ate at just now was really, really good. Ceviche in St. Petersburg, Florida, definitely recommend. This is in St. Petersburg. I don't know the name of this beach, but the water is very warm. I didn't come beach ready today because honestly, I wasn't sure if I felt like coming to the beach because I didn't really know like if it was too far or something. But now I kind of wish I brought my swimsuit. But it's okay because honestly, I'm about to get in the water in my shorts. I don't care. The way the way this heat is set up, I'm gonna be drying like 20 minutes. <laughs> Time 
turns out I ended up at this little beach. Not a lot of people here. I just actually met this black couple and their daughter. They were so cute. And they were just talking about what they like to do in St. Petersburg. I am hot as hell. Well, I was. I was I'm sitting my ass right down here in the water. So, no, I didn't come dressed for the beach, but it's okay. I'll dry off. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's just really nice and peaceful over here. Their beach right here is not like clear Caribbean blue type beach. Um, but, and they do have a lot of seaweed over there. But it's still, it's still nice. At least it's clean. You know what I mean? I can't complain. I'm enjoying it. I think I'm going to get out of here though and walk the pier. But not before I like completely immerse myself in some water because when I say it's hot, I think it's like 91 degrees today. Oh my god. <laughs> but I love the summer. I love heat. I let me tell you something. I hate winter. I um, if I could live another day without winter in my life, I would be totally fine. The thing is my birthday's in winter. But after my birthday's over, I'm over it. <laughs> A lot of people. Some real good shopping. It's like a little shopping mall. Oh, nice. We actually call it the Pier Marketplace. What you call it? We call it the Pier Marketplace. marketplace. And so to catch the tiki one, what? Where is that? Same. You can catch it. I'm taking you down there. Now. Oh, you're oh you are taking me. Okay. We all go to the same spot. We just go around. Cool. See, that's the big turnout right there. That's the big one. Oh wow. Just doing the same thing I'm doing. Just going to each stop, turning back around, going down there, you know, going back and forth. Turn right around. Like a circle. Got you. How long do you work here for, like during the day? Me? Yeah. Yeah, two shifts. I'm gonna my easy shift. Right now, I'm climbing the stairs to the Tiki Bar. Um, this place is really big. You don't have to take the stairs. I'm just trying to get my exercise in. <laughs> but they're elevators. And Pier Tiki. This is where I guess everyone likes to go and get drinks and whatnot. So my phone is on 10%. I'm gonna need to find a charge. <laughs> remind me, can someone please remind me to, to buy a new portable charger? Like seriously, I do this every time I go on a trip. y'all so this is my last day in tampa i'm heading to the airport now i've had such a lovely stay here at this airbnb my host ganja has been a dream she's super sweet i finally got to meet her the other day and yeah it's really been great here y'all like my shirt i got this from innovative income from my girl elanda elanda styles due to personal reasons i think it's time for me to take it up a notch that's my mantra for the rest of 2021, taking it back up a few notches. I'm going to give a little debrief on how everything went with the summit once I get back in D.C. But yeah, I will definitely be back in Tampa because guess what? Innovative Income Summit is happening again in January 2022. So yes, y'all, this wraps up my Tampa vlog. If you've been thinking about taking a solo trip, sis, this is your sign. Do it. I'll see you in part two. Bye.